Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and just play around with the computer a little bit just to kind of show you how I find zip codes um, of the areas that I do want and um, how I look for my leads on PropStream. Okay, so I go to this website called mapszipcode.com. Now this is a great website if you want to do any type of virtual um, uh, wholesaling that um, you may not know too much about the area okay but I'm gonna do my area just so you guys can kinda see um, really quick on how um, to look up um, leads alright so I'm in South Carolina alright so we are going to put uh, let me go to browse alright and let's go down here and pick your state. And I am, I'm gonna show you an example, but let me just do Clover really quick. What happens is, is it tells you what the population is in this area code, um, which is 28,000. Um, and if you play around with this, you're going to see that this is kind of, you know, a little bit of a smaller town. Um, usually you're around 50 some thousand people, you know, which is a bigger um, state. But I'm just going to click on this just to kind of show you guys a little bit on how I look at information. All right. So as you see, um, it's 28,000 for the population. The medium home is 168,000 and the medium rent is 722. Uh, dollars. What this kind of tells me is is that this is an area where it's not too many of homes that are rented in this area um, and also the price is a little bit higher than what I want to wholesale a property um, at. Okay, um, So even if I went to the other website I go to is Niche. Okay, um, So places to live all right, so as far as places to live in the area, it gives an overall grade of an A, okay? Um, which is great, um, but as you see, again, um, this is a little bit more higher than what I would want to wholesale a property. Of course, you know, I'm looking for under that $150,000 mark, even under 100,000 would be great. Um, the rent is kind of low at 22% and own is more at 78. So this is probably a good area if I wanted to buy a home to hold, um, flip maybe and to hold and to resell it. <clears throat> I can definitely get my money's worth for this. Um, now, let me do another example. Um, and just because I know this area, again, if you went to your location and you just click on the various areas um, you can kind of see um, the different area codes that I'm talking about now I am going to North Carolina and I am going to look at an area called Gastonia um, as you see a little bit more higher with the population um, I am going to click on 28052 now, if you see, this is an area, again, 34,000. Medium home value is at 96,300. Okay, this is something that I'm around that wholesaling price and medium rent 725. Now, this is what I will do. You can kind of look down here too um, with all the numbers and values and reports and ranks. Um, but just how I look, I like this number at that 96,300, okay? So then I go over to my niche, okay? And I will put in places to live. Let's put 28052. All right, not as great as in my area, but this is a great for a wholesale market. It is B. Housing's a B minus, which means okay, I can probably wholesale here. Um, medium price is at ninety six thousand dollars. Now you see the difference when it says rent is at forty five percent and owns at fifty five percent. So there's a lot more people 
that are renting in this area, which means that a lot more investors are coming in this area to buy these properties and to rent them out. So it looks good for investors at 45%, okay? This is a great market to be in. This is where I wanna focus on, okay? So this is kinda how I look at my areas on the whole flipping uh, wholesale process, okay? Um, all right, so, and again, it gives a whole bunch of information that you can look for it, but for me doing this video, I'm just gonna keep it quick. All right, so let's go over to prop stream, and I wanna do that 28052. Okay, all right, so now we have, of course, 16,000 properties. I'm gonna have to break this down a little bit more and kind of narrow my search down. So I'm going to filter this and Basically, what I'm going to do is I just kind of want to see how many buyers or investors are buying in this area. So basically, the only thing I'm going to do is go down to ownership. Um, let's see, last sale date, I'll just do 2019 just to kind of see in the area on, um, whoops, let me go back ownership 2019 I forgot you have to click the actual date on there okay so it's like 938 properties that have been bought within the last year now let me filter it out a little bit more and go down to equity and see if I put in a hundred percent of equity 469 properties okay um which basically means i had property um equity 100 percent that people are buying in the area which is 469 so it goes down a little bit more so this is a great area of course like i said because you can see it's a lot of sales going on within the last year of investors that are buying in this area now let's do a search on how i am going to actually do my search on leads so we're gonna reset this owner occupied no I want to go to vacants properties all right we're down to 648 obviously you don't want to send now if you're doing a whole mailer campaign that's great to send 648 flyers okay um, but we got to narrow this down a little bit more um, let's see property characteristics um, let's see if I just do residential Single family homes, um, bedrooms, got to have at least two bedrooms, okay? Let's see when I'm down to 411. Now, if I'm writing out flyers, of course, I want to get this down a little bit more. Ownership, I want to go back because I want you to own this property. Let's go, it's 2020. I want you to own this property. Let's go back about five years and let's pick a date. Okay, 157. All right, 157 is pretty good, guys. So what I'm going to do is these, I'll go probably back to the property number four, okay? All right, so you see what this does is it gives a lot of information on the property, okay? So last sale date was in 2017, Okay, um, well, right here, actually, and this was on Jupiter. So if I click this, it gives you all the information about the property, who owns the property, the mailing address of the owner of the property. They had a cash sale that went through on 2017, okay? Um, so... This is the information that I like to look at just to kind of be nosy and to find out who bought this and who was the last owner and who's the owner now. Um, it's going to have comparables in the area on the other properties. Okay, so right now, this is a two bedroom, one bath. If I can just look at the information real quick on this property, let me go just go back to property details, two bedroom, one baths. Um, let's see here. 
about 892 square feet. All right. Um, you can basically compare if I click on each one of these properties and see if I bought this property, what the property would actually sell for. See, this is kind of 19,000 and you see all these other properties to one. You guys, this would be a good one, but again, I'll have to click on each one, but for just purposes on me showing you um, the properties um, or how it works, um, you know, to be quick, I'm just showing you kind of how you look at and narrow down, um, you know, the most comparable properties in this area. Okay, so now let's go back to Jupiter. And also it's going to give tax information. Um, so the tax amount is 434. It doesn't look like anything's late. Of course, there's no mortgage on the property because um, they bought this property with cash. Okay. Um, now, let's see here. Any documents, reports? Documents and reports. This would probably be if it's a foreclosure or anything going on with this property. It would be in this tab right here. So basically what I would do, guys, is I would actually um, go to Zillow. Okay, I just do a little bit more extensive research here. So I want to kind of see what the property looks like. Okay, so that looks like piece of house that I would want to get <laughs> and flip so it hasn't been recently sold um, doesn't look like anything's been fixed on it now this is for me to see on here now if I drive that property it may be a little bit different but as of now this is a postcard that I would definitely want to send off okay um, so this is kind of a quick and way to kind of see properties um you know that i find leads for um this is off the market vacant two years and 11 months owner has owned it um of course i try and go back even five years if i can um and break it down and again these are these filters here that you can use um for anything that you would like to use. Now, 411, um, 2018, this is of nine. So of course, if I go all the way to the end, we're going back to sale date of 2004, equity is $81,000. Yes, that's one that I would send to if it hasn't been sold, off the market, non-owner occupied, vacant, and let's see, Gastonia, where, so they actually live in the area. It's great when you see when they don't live in the area because <laughs> then they're probably not monitoring the property as much. But this is some, I would definitely mail it to the 309 South Weldon Street, okay? So again, guys, PropStream is the way to go. It has all the information. You can see all the vacant properties. You can also do all the pre-foreclosure properties in the area. And of course, if you're trying to keep and hold a property, um, this will be great for high equity or doing lease to own options. So this is just kind of a quick scenario on what you can really do with PropStream and how I find the hottest zip codes and also how I go to niche to see the type of area um, that the location is. So hope, that, hope this helps out, but just wanted to kind of give you a quick view. I'm about to get in this PropStream a little bit more deeper and go and get me some more leads so I can... Um, create my mailer list and of course it would be always great if you guys have a uh, spreadsheet so you can start listing all the properties in your spreadsheet so you can keep track of all the properties that you do mailers with all right hope this helps a little bit talk to you later guys